Hi guys. Hi Robin, how, how are you? How are you? How are you, man? Very well. What's happening? I'm good. I'm good. So, um, how's everything? How's the family? Where are you right now? I live in Goa. Um, that's where I'm living. Live in Goa. Goa. All right. For now, and uh, I think it's gonna happen for a very long time. To be honest, I uh, love the place. Yeah. Love the calmness. Love the tranquility, and so much space to do so much more outdoors. The beaches are one one plus advantage there, I guess. Hundred uh, percent. It's funny that you say that. It's it's not a one plus advantage when you go running on them. They kill you, man. Oh man. They, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. They're hard to before run. Before that, on them. oh, before that, I just like to congratulate you. So you you're going to be a father soon. Yes, so I, I am. So I want to congratulate yes. you for to that. Thank you. Thank you right. again. Right. So I think let's. Like jump into the into interview now, right? Yes. So, uh, Robin, I know you're a, a Noida born kid, right? Being from Noida, I right. know that Delhi, uh, Noida has always been a you know cricket talent place, and it's not yeah. that prominent for footballing talent. What <laughs> made you take up football as a kid then? I think uh, you know, firstly, yes, as you say, not just Noida, a lot of northern India or the. Okay, let me correct myself. Till about Punjab is very cricket orientated, yeah. you know. And I and I said let me correct myself because I I was in Chandigarh and there's a big, um, you know, aspect or a lot of players that come out of Chandigarh. So coming back to Noida, uh, yes, I played cricket as well. You know, like every Delhi boy or Noida boy, I did start <laughs> with cricket. Uh, yeah, but while I was growing up, it was probably fifty overs. 45 overs at the under 14s and 15 levels so i used to be an opening bowler and an opening batsman so in that time your spell used to be about uh, 6 overs so that being said mm -hmm. uh, you're going to bowl 3 overs and then just stand there doing absolutely nothing probably you know you might be there fielding but that's about it and as an opening batsman uh, there's always a contrast of one's the calm guy And one, one's the hard hitter. I'll let you decide which one I was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were the hard hitter, level. <laughs> exactly. And, so pretty much, you're back in the dressing room or pavilion uh, on a bad day. You're pretty much back in 15 to 20 balls. On a good day, you're back in 40 balls. So by the end of it, you're either standing and sitting. So for me, that wasn't it. I I want something that gives me the the rush of you know um what's it called achieving something whether it's yeah. in football as i say winning a tackle winning my headers passing the ball correctly and scoring goals you know so i wanted that feeling and that that's something that i only got from football i think I, I, you, you just had to run right you just had to run that that's the adrenaline rush had to keep you going i know so, i know uh, I think, yeah that's true yeah now you know coming Talking about Noida, as you said, you went to the Chandigarh Football Academy. What Correct. made you leave leave Noida, and you know, and what age did you actually go? Uh, uh, I left at I would say fourteen, fourteen, tentatively fourteen ish. Uh, yes, and I went there to Chandigarh Football Academy. I was there. It all. I was there for about two, two and a half years, but it didn't begin with Chandigarh Football Academy. It began with Saint Stephen's School. I was there for. Okay. I was there for about seven months. I was playing for Saint Stephen's School, and then obviously you go. Um, I think I went by for school nationals, uh, mm -hmm. and, at, and at that point, when I was on my way back, or while I was there, I had this conversation with the Chandigarh Football Academy, and they. wanted to know whether i would like to join the state academy as it was called it back then but uh yes so again you know i felt like it was a stepping stone for me and uh i had to do it and that's that's what i did i went and joined the chandigarh football academy and that's where i got my first no as well <laughs> so wait so were, were you aware about chandigarh football academy before you joined it or did someone just introduce it to you at that time Uh, firstly, allow me one second, please. One second, ah. Huh? Sure. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. So I was saying. Uh, yeah. I was when I was in Delhi. 
it was a rainy season and obviously you can't play football oh, sorry you can't play cricket yeah. so i ended up playing football with my friends we ended up um, how familiar are you with uh, noida oh i live there uh, okay i went to cambridge school oh that's pretty close to my house actually yeah cambridge <laughs> i know that yeah yeah so yeah so i, I landed up at cambridge school with my friends and uh, the coach over there mr anadi barua said listen we're going to chandigarh just to participate in a tournament because it's it's a holiday for all you guys as well why not i was like why not let's go and i i i was there it was a great tournament especially for me um, i ended up meeting some of the coaches there and i we came up against st stephen's chandigarh uh by all that time it was about uh, i think it was mr bupinder singh and sukhind uh, surinder singh who were the coaches mm-hmm. at st stephens i think mr surinder singh handles or is a part of the aiff coaching committee by now um so yeah so he was there while i was growing up uh we had a conversation i took that home to my parents and said listen this is what's come up and uh, my my parents also asked the same the same way this interview began like my parents asked me that same question why football um i said uh, i love the sport and that is all all i needed to do my parents were like sure my family also being said my father's my parental grandfather uh, that's my father's father was also a footballer my mom hails okay. from calcutta that's also why i think football runs in the blood and when they asked me i had no reason but to say i, I, I love football and uh, that was it i just those were the answers of mine and my parents were like good luck and uh, i think it was a bit more it was a it was the mix of kolkata and that noida and the chandigarh thing that made you that into that football you football you are to be that funky Correct. guy yes and i enjoyed the sport uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't say i enjoyed football and not cricket i enjoyed the sport a lot more a, a lot more and that that was it and and me i think it's 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 just see again i'm trying to answer the question why football and the only thing i can think of is i love football it's because that's the only reason you need i think that's the only reason you need you know i'm still that young little boy who was playing in the rain with his friends and i i am still that boy who says i love football and that's why i want to play till i can till my legs give out <laughs> yeah yeah So now you said you got your first no at uh, Chandigarh Football Academy. Yeah. Tell me something more about that. Uh, so yeah, it was a trial, as they called it. I, it's it's a it's a concrete memory in my head. That's why I know what it is. Uh, they are they they took a trial, and the trial ended up with saying, Robin Singh, you're leaving the academy. We don't think you have what it takes to be a footballer. I, I pretty much had the same smile on my face and said, "Okay, um, <laughs> sure. Uh, your opinions do not matter to me. I accept what you say. If I have to learn from it, yes, I will. But is this going to be the path that I'm going to take? Because someone has turned around and said, 'I'll never be a footballer.' Uh, no, it's your opinion and not." what i want in my heart in my head in my heart in, in my head i want to be the best version of myself and that's the best footballer that i can imagine to be and that's it yep. that is it that is i think what matters to you know also everyone listening out there plenty of people will say plenty of things to you over plenty of years <laughs> you got to believe in yourself and that's all that matters you know you got to do what you believe in that's got to go into the highlights of this interview all right, right. so uh, so um, then you said what did you do after you got that no so, so i know okay. you i was i was disheartened ahead, yeah. i was disheartened you know it's you don't like being told yeah you're not good at what you're doing of course especially when you give your heart and soul 5 am mornings 4 am wake up calls you don't want to be told that you know i'm, I'm not good enough i i did take that treaty to heart but that wasn't okay. that wasn't something that will make me give up it's as i said at hmm. the end of the day it's an opinion it's not set in stone i have plenty of opinions about myself people have plenty of opinions about me 
doesn't affect that doesn't me. affect me yeah doesn't affect me i know i know what i can do and i and i and i believe in me and i believe in the people that support me i'm proud of the people that support me it's would you want to take that one person's opinion and let the other 20 or the other 100 or 2000 people down that's not me i play for the people that believe in me net talking about that one person we had a fan question here so the question was from jagdalish shriram 04 uh-huh. now he he said, the question is who and what you what is your lucky charm and who is that one person who supported you throughout your career that one person uh see oh, my circle is very small as as much as you know you see me being a guy who talks to a lot of people who's also interpreted as talks too much yeah again these are some things that i didn't create and i will not break yeah but if you are in my circle i will do anything in the world for you so mm-hmm. i you for my success beginning from god to the people in my life everyone holds their importance and there is not one mm-hmm. person that i can turn around and say only you you know everyone plays a part in my life including my fans including the people that support me i also hate calling them fans because they're my supporters they're as important as family fans are people that you have no idea about you know people that are here at some point i have interacted with most of them on my instagram page and that's something yeah. that i do wholeheartedly for the fact that i need them to know that i appreciate them yeah they, it does not go unnoticed just like the things i do do not go unnoticed i know they are there i know there are plenty of people who will say x y z but i do them and mm-hmm. do the right things each day for the people that have my back so i think the fans have your back here everybody has you. your back when it comes to football thank you everybody has your back trust us uh then you know going back to now your Um, I know you went to the Tata Football Academy. How did that come up after that? After Chandigarh Football Academy. So um, straight away, as soon as I got the no, or oh, you're not good enough from Chandigarh Football Academy, I packed my bags. Believe me, it took me a couple of hours, and I was out. I was like, if wow. I'm not appreciated or respected here, I'm going to leave. And that's exactly what I did because I hate negativity. You know. Uh, hmm. one of the reasons or i do not interact with negativity be it social media be it face to face be it over the phone i do not interact with it that's that's something that i am proud of that i don't let it affect me and i don't let it into me so hmm. what i packed my bag and i left uh went home sat with my parents and said i'm not going to let you guys down i'm not going to let uh, people that support me down and i'm not going to let my dreams break here uh so i did i did that and I, as soon as i did that i said i want to go prove to myself that i have what it takes into me and i want to go to the best place possible and i spoke to dfa myself with the help of my father saying i would like one opportunity for you to test me if i'm good enough you keep me. if i'm not good enough i will leave i do not want any favors i do not want any favors ever if you think i'm good enough and wholeheartedly give me a try i will give you my all and i think that's what they saw in me and that's where it began as a tfa cadet i went for a trial and i did not leave back to delhi i stayed there they said you want to go back and get your things i was like no i don't need anything football is here that's wow that's all i said i said goodbye to my father i said thank you for bringing me here and that was it i left i was like thank you dad i you literally stayed there yeah i finished my the God. trial that's a really inspiring inspiring story i finished my trial and they said we would like to keep you when and they said you can go back get your things come as you know i am here this is it i do not want to waste wow. i want to play that is it i want to play you give me the opportunity and i will play i still remember i was it was um the hotel is still there um jumshed was a very small city it hasn't changed the hotel is still there i still know the room 
I see it every day because I I was across the Tata Football Academy. I know that hotel. I was like, that's where it began. So so, so when whenever you go to, whenever you go to let's say to play matches there, do you actually yeah. uh, make a effort to go and visit that visit it's, your uh, it's, place it's you stay? It's a hotel. I would love to own it. It's a hotel. I would love to <laughs> own it because it's a part of me. Uh, but yes, because I can't own it. I I look up and I'm just like this is where it started from and now when I look at it, it it's it's a memory that sticks because it has made me what I am today began at a school friendly tournament in Chandigarh and now I was at the best possible academy with the best possible coaches giving me their best expertise so you know obviously I, it it was hard I'm not going to lie it was hard it, it was it is scary saying or seeing the fact that what if i get a no here what if i'm not good enough you know you still mm-hmm. get those thoughts i think it's only human to doubt but yeah. be better you got to kill that doubt as soon as it comes you you have to when i say kill is because there's you shouldn't be you shouldn't be doubting yourself man i think we're not just football Pitch. anybody hmm So like uh let's say you would still would have stayed at uh Chandigarh Football Academy do you think you would have been at the same place in your career no, no i think everything no. happens for a reason i think my time at chandigarh was over be it by my doing by the coach is doing or the god's grace this was the next hmm. step in my journey to being a footballer and i took it with everything i had i made sure that I joined and I played football like like it's the only thing I know how to do and that's how I live my life still that that's the only thing I I know how to do and I love the fact that it gives me so much joy and immense happiness it's made me travel most of asia most of india probably all of uae how many people in the life get to do that i'm not i'm not demeaning anybody but how many people get to do that in 13 14 years of football or 14 years of your life i've done most of the country or most of asia and a fair bit of you uae just listening to that brings a smile on my face just because that's how inspiring the story is i oh, i no, hope you... i inspire people i hope so because it's it, i'm being honest i don't know what an inspirational story is i just know what happiness is and football brings me that absolutely now you're talking about you went to uae now that i yeah. think that was just before east bengal uh, correct how how did you get the opportunity to go to uae and i think you also went to england for a while so correct. how did that happen so i think the the no from chandigarh uh changed yeah. me a little bit where i didn't know what a holiday was till today i don't know what a holiday is i'm i'm sitting here i've already trained a session uh wow. you know it's it people are i'm being honest a lot of people love holidays i love my holidays but i don't know what it is to holiday wherever i am i want to train and that's that's how uae and uh, uk came about where we had some time off from uh, jimshedpur and i was like i want to train I want to see how good I am. I wanted to test my own abilities as such. And the first stop was UK. It was for 2 weeks, you know, with the help of my father and mm-hmm. speaking to people on on the internet, we figured out a training facility. Uh that didn't work out well cuz I honestly, you know, not to show off but I was better than the people there. So I think that's that's where UK put us. and hmm. i think when i reached there i think i might have changed at least one person's mindset and said no way here we're not lower than you at least at an age level professionally hmm. maybe yes but at this age i'm as good as you are so then i spoke to my father again and said listen we we got to find more people i'm 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 good enough for this and then uh making those few calls um uh, we ended up at uh tooting in mitcham reading and wimbledon for the next two weeks um you know segregating a few days of training having a game against i think i remember playing a, at reading um on a trial and uh, mm. after the trial i think we spoke and it 
it it was falling short of a work permit and i was i was anyways like i wanted to just train for me it's always been train and bring what you learn to india and take the country forward as a whole with whatever i can learn it's never going to be like no let india be where it is i will go no it's for me it's always been whatever i can learn i want to bring here and if that helps me grow in my country and that helps my country grow, grow that's i'm happy personal growth and the country's growth is what we need at the end of the day i'm 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 someone who feels proud to represent my country i'm never short i'm never short i'm saying i'm indian wherever i go i straight away mm. say i'm indian you know we we all know we've all been outside yeah. of yeah. india and we all know how people look at us when you're from india now but as good as you are remember that yeah yeah um so you talking with this is something i didn't know actually so you actually got an offer so that's i think that's big news for a lot of people here but see but i don't talk about it cuz there's no point the, if there's there's a club accepting me but saying the work permit's an issue no i i i am happy that you like what i bring to the table but i'm still training at tfa i want to finish where my loyalty lies I want to finish mm. training at TFA and I, and I'm loyal to that place cuz that that's the place that gave me the opportunity. I just wanted to come train. I just wanted to learn mm. from you. I just wanted to enhance my abilities and that's it. So it was never a question about an offer and that's why I don't speak about it because it's not you know I'm I'm not saying that I'm 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 too good for it. It's like no my loyalty lies with the people who gave me the opportunity to come here. And mm. I'm only yeah. going to be loyal to them. If I finish and I'm good enough, I will come back. for now my loyalty lies with the academy and i have to go back i think and that's i think that's paid off for you really well because after yes. that you've gone to actually really high places now uh, just uh, when was it that you realized that this footballing can be uh, you can do it for a living actually when they started paying me <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that when they started paying me i realized wow i can do this for a living when when you go into tfa yes you go into the fact that yes i want to make this my profession when i started playing and i got into tfa i was like i love this if i can make my my profession my passion and everything to give me money as well why not you know and when yeah. i was at tfa we played against east bengal and when east bengal offers you a contract it gives you immense confidence you know and absolutely it did give me immense confidence coming out as an 18 year old for a team that has probably one of the strongest legacies in our country yeah if if you have that that club giving you an opportunity to play that it has to have something about you you know and I'm, i'll always be absolutely. i'll always be thankful to east bengal and i, I spent great years there you know i these people loves me and i love them the same way yes you have fans that say you're not good enough so <laughs> so half the world thinks i'm not good enough what's your point doesn't matter to me i'll still play you just do what you love all things i'm good enough or oh, there has to be something about me absolutely i mean so coming to the what what do you think was your best moment in east bengal or uh, the east bengal uh, jersey good thank god you completed that sentence because if you would just left it at east bengal i would have said scoring against them while at tfa <laughs> oh my god and, and then also turning around and uh, scoring in the derbies is always special always There's, you can't take derbies away from you you know i, I was reiterating the story to dwight york the other night as well saying it's not a derby it's a bragging rights and b you get the all of you get the whole of calcutta behind you just 10 days weeks before a derby you go for a coffee they like no bill beat mon magan you know oh, i um, literally that actually happened yeah yeah literally they 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 have gone for a coffee and and he's like na 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 paise lag bina tum aake mon magan ke goal marte ho and i'm just like Sure, man. No pressure. <laughs> It's happened to me, and after the derby, I remember because there are there are there are there are one ways in Calcutta's. 
there are there are one ways in calcutta and i know after a derby i, I was driving in calcutta and i went into a wrong lane and the cop guy literally stopped me and said wrong way i said sorry dada i don't know the ways he's like you're obviously right i'm like yeah khada karke jao aap gaadi he's telling me i said i have to just go here he's literally saying aap idhar hi rakho you go <laughs> no problem i was like why he's like you scored i was like wow this is what derbies can do to you and it was it's think- it's, it's it's an amazing feeling to play for east bengal believe me i'm just you can just imagine the type of crowd that's there and so many thousands of people just looking at you i mean i can only imagine the type of pressure that's on you it's you know a lot of people I'll, i've a lot of people have said in the past that i take things for granted not being pressurized and taking things for granted are two different things yeah i don't get pressurized I don't get pressurized. I I I I don't because I believe in me. I believe in the person working next to me. I believe in the person working behind me and the person behind me believes in me. So there is no yeah. pressure. There is only excitement and there is only joy and that's that's all that football is to me. It's it's always a joy to play. It's it's the best feeling in the world. I have my passion into my profession. why will there be pressure no never be it against anybody no i will have bad days i'm human i wish i wasn't yeah. i wish i wasn't human and i had best days ever but i'm human guys come on give me a break <laughs> absolutely i mean every everyone has their good days and their bad days so that's totally fine now talking about another club which mm-hmm. you know that has immense pressure like immense amount of pressure on you is bangalore yeah. fc yeah now you were the you were a part of that core core bangalore fc the foundation mm-hmm. team right right what was it like being a part of a new team and what were the some of the challenges you faced i think the only challenge we face and I'll be as honest and I think anybody from that core group will tell you the only challenge we faced was Ashley Westwood's fitness sessions my god and I was bearing the brunt of it a lot a lot whereas you know we we there were times when I ran alone just because Ashley Westwood wanted me to <laughs> so I think so- uh, that was the hard part the rest of it from um you know you heard this over a uh, lot of number of times i'm sure everybody from the ball boy to actually westport hmm. to the supporters only had that thought that we will be the best version of ourselves and i think when we came to bangalore a lot of us were hmm. names that indian football had said is done and dusted it's the truth a lot of us were a lot of us were myself included you know uh, even even see there's some random person over here also saying hell i lose a robin so <laughs> you know what i mean doesn't matter you know what yeah, i mean like doesn't matter there were people like him talking absolute nonsense from the first year of us being at bangalore and i think winning championship trophies is what proved everybody wrong we beat every team in the league that year also to the fact that we had a chance to go into the isl we were like no we're going to win this championship and then we will turn around right. and see what the world brings to us right and i think that was it there was that there were no difficulties the team was a family the team was a big big family starting from sunil to myself to the youngest boy that joined we were all on the same level i think i was reading stats the other day all of us were scoring goals not just not just uh, sunil or myself or even eugene eugene had 16 goals that season i think uh or eugene came in and in a total he had 16 goal for bfc and i had i had a fair bit of goals myself so it was a well oiled machine a very fit well oiled machine working together and that's that's what bfc is till now you know it's 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 still there it's it's still the same thought process that goes obviously things change players change the thought process is the same and now you see a lot of the other clubs following the same process 
No, I think uh, the moment a new club like uh, Bangalore FC draws with Mohan Bagan in the first game, yeah. you know that that that's going to be a team to beat next time because and that's been that's been going on. I mean, six uh, six trophies in seven years is something that a lot of people can't do. Agreed, and that started in year one. And th- that actually started in year one. We, as you know, the belief is always there. It's when you make others mm. believe. And I think once we drew with the likes of Mohan Bagan, I think we beat East Bengal that year. Uh, you know, it's it 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 all it all transcended into people believing, players believing, fans believing, haters believing. You know, yeah. and, and everybody started believing. And once there's belief, I don't think there's anyone. There's no stopping. There's no stopping. If you have have an aim and you believe in it, there's no stopping. As a team or as an individual, there's no stopping you if you believe in your aim. But Robin, you know, if I may ask, uh, you said that uh, Bangalore. When people you joined Bangalore FC, you th- people thought that you weren't the team wasn't of uh, the team was full of people who weren't at the end of their career. Yeah. Do you think Bangalore FC, you know, rev- uh, was a turning point of your career at that moment? Yes, I think yes. I was at East Bengal. I had a fair a fair share of injuries. Uh, If I remember correctly, I cracked my spine, tore my groin, broke my shoulder. So <laughs> I had no idea. Days. I had no idea what was up, man. I honestly had no idea. But yes, when uh, you know uh, when Bangalore came about, and it it came it came as a club with something that that is new or that was new at that point of time for Indian football and. and i was like i want to be a part of something new i want to be a part of something mm. that grows me and when i had like the likes of sunil also joining the club i'm like yes i'd like to have i like to be a part of this because at that point he's been at mohan bagan i've been at east bengal we've only been like i wouldn't even say enemies we've just been opponents and if yeah. those two opponents can come together you know it was a fruitful partnership all the way till my acl which was against sri lanka in the saf games we we were scoring mm. goals we were scoring a lot of goals you know we were i think we were scoring goals that have been etched into the memory of a lot of uh, indian football fans including the the one at guam or against guam we come to that we come to that <laughs> we come to that that's that's something that's extremely special to me personally yeah. is that Uh, now uh, talking about something that you that started new delhi yeah. the isl yeah. and you specifically played in delhi dynamos and correct. fc goa correct and that those two teams had i would say absolute legends in them uh, yes. just naming a few roberto carlos john and ray say um for meluda zico yeah. what was it like you know sharing just to dressing room with the what was your reaction when you realized that you would be dress, you would be sharing a dressing room with such legends It was an amazing experience, and till today, every foreigner that comes here, it's 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 an amazing learning process. Uh, you know, I love I love to be a sponge that can soak in information from a lifestyle perspective, professional perspective, uh, a personal perspective. If I can learn, I'm ready. It's it's as simple as that. If 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 somebody wants to give me some kind of knowledge that will improve. myself and indian football i'm ready and then as you said yeah. these guys are legends with premier league and champions league trophies under them you know world cups under absolutely. them absolutely and these are these are the people that are coming and i'm being able to share dressing rooms with them you know i i, I tell people this story a lot because it, it stuck to me there was there was a training session with delhi dynamos where roberto carlo i was i was doing some uh, Kicking practice with uh, John Arun Risa hmm. or Risa as I call him, um, or everybody yeah. calls him Risa to be honest. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah. there was a ball that came. I remember him stepping in front of me, taking on his chest without a bounce, kicking it back, going all the way till him again to John Risa, and I was like, "Whoa, okay." And he's just like, "I will do this in Dubai." I said, "When are you going to Dubai?" He's like, "Two months. I will do this." I've seen him do it. If I could, I do. I would show you guys a video. I've seen him do it. There's a ball. It's a friendly or a or a legends game in Dubai. The balls come down to him. He's on the left flank. He's taken it, kicked it back. 
it i saw it on instagram as well is it the one where he's playing for the real madrid legends and he uh, gives it back to the other oh on my god yeah I, i've seen that yeah, See, yeah 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 so you know i'm not lying and I, this guy has told me this two months before our training and i and i bring this instance up because that's the kind of level headed mentality that these guys bring and if i can learn that you know people saw skill i saw hmm. mental toughness or the aspiration to do stuff and believe that your body will do it you know it's and this is two months apart i asked the same question yeah. to thierry henry i had the honor to meet these guys and it's it's amazing i met i said andre you celebrate by shaking your head as if you know your nose is up there he's like it's not i'm like what is it a lot of people want to know i think i i i yeah. call it a straight mark celebration when he shakes your shakes his head when he scores goals and just walks out he's like that's me at thanking my brains and accepting the fact that my mind and my body are in sync because i know wow. i'm going to do it in my head and i've done it and that's what a footballer needs to be his his body needs to follow his mind and if and these these are the things that stick to me people see people see i also saw the same thing as as a guy celebrating like yeah i can score against these guys he's like i respect them i respect them a lot it's me appreciating that my mind and body are in sync that's like there's there's not a lot of people that can do it and i'm like fair point i i i agree with it and these are the little things that you like to bring into your games when you're training when you're by yourself or any of these thoughts where you're like I want to do I want to I want to have that mentality. You know it's um it's just amazing to see how these legends have the intellectual intellectuality levels on another level to yeah. understand the celebrations like it's a representation of you know thanking the brain and all. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a different level altogether. 100%. No and believe me when I say this we are we are getting up there. you know we are getting up there i meet i meet everybody and and i meet a lot of the younger boys as well including you know some the boys that i'm close to naming sandesh in this matter you know we we we're mm-hmm. all on this on this wavelength of i want to achieve something and not just get done playing football i want to achieve something for my country you know and and, and that's yeah. very important and i and i and i believe the fact that me and him are in sync when when we say this that I want to achieve for my country. I really do want to achieve for my country. Nah. Um so I'm going to put you in a very difficult spot right now. No problem. If I can. No problem. So uh, if you had to choose if you had to choose between Zico and Roberto Carlos. Yeah. Who would you choose right now? I think for me the 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 level of respect I have for them is is equal. No doubt. They're both legends in their own but For me, I'm a Real Madrid fan, no doubt. And I started as a left back, so for me, it's Roberto Carlos. I've shared the dressing room with him. I've spent some time with him as well. Uh, it's no secret, Roberto Carlos all the way for me. Wow! I mean, just amazing to just imagine that you played with such legends, selves. I mean, yeah. It is right. So <laughs> I just got starstruck right now, but so just thinking about it. <laughs> This is. Right. So, uh, moving ahead now. So, yeah. um, you've also played for Hyderabad FC and Correct. Pune City FC, right? Correct. And on paper, both of them had a very similar core team. I would say Stankovic. There was um, there was Marcelino, and there Correct. there was also um, Diego Carlos to a certain extent, right? Uh, and all, the both the teams were very uh, strong in their on paper. What Correct. do you think went wrong in both the seasons? Uh, both the seasons. I think. Uh... anything in transition number one takes time right so mm-hmm. behind the door i can i can tell you sorry off the pitch um, i can tell you there was not one day when the boys did not work their hearts out be it at training be it at game sometimes things don't look down for you like don't work out mm-hmm. for you but i say this all the time in life every down has an up and if you fallen down you can't go further down it's always going up so i think from just a hyderabad fc perspective yes they've had a bad season but believe me it can't be worse than this this season you know it's, yeah. it's something that was in transition and we got to accept it we got to accept our defeats we got to learn from our mistakes and not just us as, as a club you know we we got to learn from our mistakes and we we got to grow from that 
there's there's from from a boys or a talent perspective or the group of boys that were there no problem at all no problem at all they were all there working day in and day out we still speak to each other over the phone and you know unfortunately mark was retired but i spoke to him and yeah. said no man we have unfinished business this was my message to him saying we have unfinished business but each to its own he decides to call it quits i guess i'll have to do it with the rest of them can we can we expect him to come back let's say in a coaching stuff something next year i hope so listen marco if you are in this chat listening to us you know who to sign the fans want you man <laughs> the fans want you right there uh so i i think there's a lot there's a request come a lot of requests coming would you mind extending the live coming back and extending the live for let's say 15 minutes because i think the fans just absolutely love you right now wow people love me <laughs> okay i'll tell you what when this ends uh i think it ends in an hour so it we have uh it ends in 15 minutes all right so in yeah. about in about 10 minutes i suggest you to get off save it for people to watch and then we we'll yeah, get along, yeah. get get on again i have no problems i have i my day is perfect clean. yeah perfect i i'll do that i mean it's such an honor talking to you i just I'm really happy just talking to you like this. no man pleasure is all mine and everybody who's watching thank you for tuning tuning us if we end make sure you guys come back or i'm not talking to any one of you <laughs> absolutely what's the whole thing then now uh now there's a, again a fan question here right yeah a uh, question from gautam gautam adi how mm-hmm. did it how did you feel when you scored the last minute equalizer against pfc cuz it seeing you looking at your reaction it i think it meant the world to you scoring that goal i think um, i'm i'm guessing you're talking about the hyderabad fc goal yeah yeah cuz <laughs> they've been last a few let me let me rub it into all the bfc fans they've been a few equalizers <laughs> uh, oh my god but, but yeah uh, the hyderabad goal meant a lot because it was a for the team uh b for the fans and c for myself you know i have i always have uh, my wife watching and I, i i love scoring in front of her and the rest of the fans that watch so it was just a whole hearted emotion and now that i think of it if you want to sum it or um put it at something's equal it's my goal in bombay against mauritius right after my injury if you it was that the kind of i would say it was the chip uh, against no, mauritius or was it i think that? i know it was it was it was i took it down left foot i'm talking about the celebration when you think of the celebration oh, all right, the, yeah. the, the emotion would be as as same as the one in bombay because that's how much hmm. those goals meant to me it was not as to look down upon anybody including bfc at this matter it was just the emotion of how much goals mean to me and goals mean for my team you know and i think yeah that's where it stood where you talk about emotion and when i went to the fans to celebrate is because i could feel them hurt like the rest of us when we were losing games uh but that's life man i think that's life there will be times where things don't work out for you in life but you never give up and and that just shows this time it was me next time it could be my teammates it will still be the same emotion from my side yeah so uh, even i i looked at him, uh, i looked i was watching that match and you know the pe- the fans were just just so happy they were just dancing all night and after it was just amazing to see your reaction and the culmination of the fans reaction yeah. and it showed what football can do to people actually i'm realizing this right now the it, entire thing it's it's an it's an emotion you know it it is honestly an emotion it is it is something that you work for it is things that you want to work out for yourself it is things that you always want to do for your your teammates your fans your family you know it's 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 not just ever a goal it always means hmm. something be it to the fans be it to a player be it to the be it to your teammates it, it it always has meaning behind it for me it's happiness sheer joy yeah absolutely um now you were talk before this robin you were talking about your uh, relationship with stankovic you were talking about relationship with maslino Mm-hmm. and this is something it's kind of a personal observation i've had you've yeah. always had an amazing relationship with all the foreigners around you let, yeah. let be robertson in uh, 
in Kashmir yeah. uh Kashmir right? right how do you manage to create such a relationship while at times i would say other indian peers relatively struggle to create that bond with some of them uh, i think uh, i can you know, over here where you where you you know you bring up the um, the other boys to me i can only talk about myself in this instance because as i said my, my circle is very small yes i do let people in but it's it's never inside yeah. you know with whereas yeah. you see you ask me about the foreigners i've always been someone who's curious and they come from a different nation they come from you know different lifestyles uh you know and I, and i always want to learn you know my learning is not restricted to just football i want to learn be it hmm. be it about football be it about life be it be it what their country has be it anything that i can learn why not i think and and as someone just messages over here saying communication is key what's the point yeah. of having a teammate that you don't speak be it be it himself or sorry be it the internationals or be it the indians but you know you bring up the foreign a bit over here but i'm very happy to say that i do the same thing with the indians hmm. i do the same thing with yeah. the indians it's 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 never the fact that i'm always with the foreigners i if you ha- if you if you speak to all the indian boys or any indian boy coming up you could ask them i'm never competing and training with the internationals it's always me okay. taking on the indian boys cuz they're they're my teammates as well you know my my relationship with my teammates is important not the passport that they hold yeah <laughs> you know in That's this case. so it's it's always the same and once we begin our competitions whether it's shooting a goal or whether it's you know taking people on that's where the foreigners come in as well and you know that that's the best bit then that's how you build a bond and that's again starting from bfc all the way to pune city with marco myself marcelino uh diego ian hume all of us hmm. we all of us used to have load load loads of competitions all the time all the time There's yeah, an unfortunate yeah. truth oh. about this goalkeeper over here. Sorry to cut you off. This guy called Manas, he's he's been on the receiving end on all our competitive shooting practices. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's only got better because of us. I'd like to take credit for that. <laughs> Wait, see, oh, he's a goalkeeper, right? He he's he yeah. plays. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so now, uh, I was you talking about foreigners and how you yeah. gel around with everyone. Yeah. How do you how do you guys party? I mean, what do you guys do to chill out after your uh, uh, match is done? So after the match is done, you obviously over 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 the time you you're too tired to be honest. You know, yeah, you, you're, you're too tired to do anything. But obviously, because you're in such an adrenaline rush, you you sit down and you just talk for hours. Uh, me again. Okay. I can only speak for the last two seasons. Last season at Pune City, it used to be me and Ian Hume all the time. Hmm. You know, it used to be me, yeah. uh, Matt Mills, Ian Hume, uh, sometimes Marcelino, because he used to go up and speak to his family because of the time difference. But we yeah. usually also used to be around just talking, and the same thing used to happen now at. Hyderabad, me, Marco, Marcelino, um, Killigan, Giles Barnes. We we used to end up in our room, and my wife used to be next to me and saying, "Listen, I'm tired. I've been screaming for you guys all game. Can we go sleep?" You know. So that that's that's after the games. But on a regular day off, it could it could span anywhere between um, PlayStation to coffees to shopping. You know, anything that that can. you know we want to do on a day off we do like i remember last season we we've, we've gone for movies um before that me and humi used to be with me myself my wife uh sorry myself my wife and humi used to be at starbucks all the time uh mac mills used to join us for dinner dates we were a big uh, sushi group um and wow, okay so that used to happen at uh, pune city this season you know we were at least all together uh, at the hotel at hyderabad so we used to have a lot of conversations over dinner or find new places to get dinner cuz we're all a bit of foodie a bit on the foodie side but <laughs> making sure that we eat the right stuff for sure 
um yeah because now that you put me on the spot there, there's so many things we do but everything at the end of the day comes back to football like, you know it's the bond that we share off the field uh that brings us to play so well on the field and that that's the same thing at yeah. dfc as well that's a great way to get uh, right so uh we can yeah, so we were at uh, real kashmir fc right yeah. so um so as you said that when the season ended real kashmir fc was uh you no know, the uh, oh by the way arun arunavasa was here he said he gave big regards to your mother as well so arunavasa oh oh thank you thank you so much right so uh as i was saying uh, real kashmir fc and the season ended in the right in the middle right because of Correct. the covid thing how difficult for it, was it for everyone in the team to manage and just be confined at one place i think uh, when you say the difficulties faced by real kashmir i think the whole country was going through it yeah yeah so uh, you just can't say us in general but but what we were disheartened hmm. about is the fact that that I wanted to play football and not just me we wanted to play football because we were eyeing top 2 at least absolutely yeah, yeah. and um, that's what that that's what we felt sad about like you know what we can't make it because you know the fatal story that real kashmir holds and going on to play the afc this year could have been amazing not just not just absolutely. for the players out there but for the club as well um Like you know, it, would, it I, would have been a fairy tale story in Indian football to see Kashmir reach that point. For sure, I think that that's what I meant. Like it's it's you you now now in general understand how 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 well a club is growing and how well Indian football is growing. That we're having different clubs compete for the AFC uh, spot over and over and over again. Absolutely. you know and not just like the same two clubs going on to play the afc every year that that just shows you the level of competition in the country and if there's competition in the country you're going to grow as a nation and you're going to have more talent for the national team and in that in that sense your national team is going to grow yeah yeah absolutely uh now we'll come to the topic everybody wants us to talk about that's your national team right and uh-huh. that guam goal right so if yeah. you if if you allow there's a small story i'd like to tell you so i'd gone to okay. kolkata i got in kolkata for the bangladesh match and uh, we were a group of 20 there right random uh-huh. people that we never met and we were asked the question which indian goal do you remember the most out of 20 15 mm-hmm. people said it was that robinson goal against goa uh, and it's it's true and you uh, actually you know that goal got me hooked to indian football i would say that's very goal oh wow. so that's so that yeah so before i continue what did you feel like you know scoring that goal what was going in your mind i think speak us to that for me i i i for some reason knew the defenders too tight at me and uh, hmm. it's a patent uh gurpreet sunil robin singh or a patent gurpreet sunil that robin singh ended <laughs> you know where yeah. gurpreet kicks it long sunil runs after it or gets on to it and then passes it to somebody or finishes it uh mm. at this point sunil passed it back to me and knew the defender was a bit tight against me and uh yeah i had i had i had to turn him you know i think i i, I turned him with a cross turn and uh, the only thing that went into my head is smack it you have space smack it um and i did and it went in it hit the cross by it went in and uh, if you see the celebration uh, i moved everybody out of this out of the side and i said move i need to go to stephen constant time because uh, the back story to that is we lost the guam game as we all know right yeah, uh, yeah. and me and me and constant time were talking and he said that little defender had you in his pocket the whole game in guam i said i will show you today and uh, yeah. that's 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 when i scored i moved everybody out you know i still get stick from all the team all the players on the national team saying why do you run to him we were on the field but <laughs> i said i thank you, you for everybody we got goosebumps at that time 
you know i i still get stick from the boy saying yeah yeah you run to him yeah that that is why i'm playing i said <laughs> i ran to him because i told him i will score for you and the boys today and you know that nice. that goal is what ended the game at 1-0 and yeah it's one of my favorite goals just for the raw emotion of that goal that that it held for me as well the team as well and now as you say the fans as well you know so it just yeah. makes me proud that i was at the end of it but uh, you know if you think just of not record. just that goal yeah yeah this was record which will be your favorite goal and if it was in the goa one because no i think it has to be the goa one it's it was a world cup qualifier yeah you know but if if the goal that was disallowed against iraq iran iraq 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 if that yeah. goal wasn't disallowed that could have been also my favorite goal because we could have almost qualified if you think of it we we yeah. drew a loss that game and the iraqi coach also turned around and said that people underestimate the indian national team you know and and yeah. that still happens people are still saying that we are a force to reckon with and now i think it's hmm. it's it's only on the path of growth and a path of a very very good side that can compete with big asian sides in the coming time you know and if i can play Absolutely. my part or if i have played my part why not you know i want to play my part some more <laughs> you know let me just put it like that yeah. i'm not done i want to i want to be i want to be a part of the national team again you know obviously yeah all of us want you to be in the national team all of us want you to be in the national Hope team so. yeah no you talking about uh, the style uh, um steven constantine had right give it to uh, sunil chetri he cuts it back uh-huh. to you then you score right uh-huh. that style is very different from what's being played currently by uh, igor stimak what do you think of yeah. that uh, that type of uh, style and do you think it's suitable for indian indian football i think so i think why not i think you've seen the likes of anirudh thapa sahal Hmm. um even pranay halda who plays the defensive midfielder you know we've seen all of yeah. them getting you know more ball bo- get time on the ball even even lenny for that matter you know borges for that matter eugene i can name so many boys that are great on the ball and if yeah if you have the ball with you that's how you're going to score goals i think and that's what igor seaman is also uh, also wanting to bring in, uh, bring in and as someone just commented right now brandon as well you know these are all great boys who can do a lot with the ball so yeah. why not keep the ball i agree you know every every coach to its own every coach brings in a style and as a as a professional you got to adapt to that style hmm. you know and coming coming back to stephen constantine we we somewhat played um uh, direct football and there's yeah. nothing wrong in that we got we got Absolutely. goals with that you know and the same thing with igor stimak as well just because you know the results are short right now you can't say this is not our style hmm. do you do you say the same thing when sahal is on the ball with kerala blasters or do you say the same thing when anirudh is on the ball for chennai or brandon on the ball for fc goa no you're like yeah. wow right so just because results are not coming you can't turn around and say i don't like this style hmm. you know everything in transition takes time but i i've i've had the pleasure to watch them train in goa and i and i, and I love how they play i i i'm jealous that i'm not a part of the training session and i mentioned that mentioned this to igor stimak as well saying i'm i'm jealous i want to i want to be able to play and for him just stating that you will is more than enough for me to train as hard as i can wow okay so he, he, you had a conversation with with him about this you know so again training uh being being a footballer a present day footballer hmm. you know i had the opportunity to be able to ask for permission to watch training wow okay you know and and uh, he said yes you're a footballer why not i want you to come watch training and i hmm. think his way or is just letting me give, get that little bit of peek of yeah. what he wants from his team and if i can bring that or i can learn from that sitting outside when i come in and i hope i do it will be an easy easy transition and i and that, that's the only thing i look forward to and even in in his interviews where he said he wants a big physical striker it's just like 
me waiting for that opportunity but you know that yeah. that's something that i think of every morning there's not a day that goes by where i don't train with the intent of playing for my country i don't train without the intent of being honest at my hard work because that this is what is in my hand be it for club or, or or country i i can only work hard and if the opportunity is given to me to represent the country again i will bite oh, into it and not let it go oh i mean all of you all of all of us want you to be there i mean that's a no brainer so. you know, i would say <laughs> i hope Definitely. so yeah uh um, now you earlier you mentioned about you know east bengal right right uh, you you've had two stints of east bengal right now uh, uh-huh. there's a very popular debate going on about east bengal whether they should directly get into isl or enter through uh-huh. merit what are your opinions on that i think each to its own um i think from where the indian football structure is uh, placed at the moment there is going to be relegation from probably next year right and let's be honest the pandemics made everything a lot harder right yeah uh so look on the bright side this year's almost over so 22 seasons almost around the corner you know <laughs> so <laughs> if if not this year they will be next year i think they they're a club with a big and massive legacy i've i've had the honor to be a part of it and yeah you need heritage and legacy in football as well that that's what that's what gives the fans the idea to belong hmm. right and i think if there's mohan bagan in the isl there has to be east bengal these are two names that you can't say one without the other absolutely yeah, yeah. you know so if you want to derby again i definitely want to derby again but then play part the derby again I, that's what i was coming to whether i'm a part of it or not that depend, depends on the clubs for me it's it's a sight to watch derby and believe me if these two teams go at it in the isl it's going to be even bigger than it usually is you were talking about east bengal and robin mm-hmm. i have to ask you this yeah. there have been certain rumors rumors about your next destination <laughs> where you will be heading to next can you give us any details about it ami jani na dada <laughs> no idea <laughs> no idea what's coming next year let me just uh, leave it at that let it be a secret i want if i tell people they won't follow and it won't be a secret anymore if it's a secret and a rumor let it be that you know okay we we'll, we we'll, we'll take that one we'll take that one no issues yeah. with that yeah right um so now this is a very personal question come uh, this is a very personal question for me because i've seen your instagram account and uh-huh. it's and your your style is just amazing uh-huh. you know i've seen uh-huh. even the adidas t-shirts and all of it it's just amazing now now yeah. i've literally seen uh, you wear different sneakers almost every time so are you a sneaker collector yeah. 100% i am a sneaker collector i i love shoes you know i think that comes with the profession i I've, i've been blessed enough to be associated with brands that uh, you know make great pairs of sneakers and uh, If I can get some of them to my collection, then why not? You know, from which one from, would you prefer, Yeezys or Air Force One? Ah, uh, wow! That's none, a, to be honest. That's the most controversial none. question of the. <laughs> none, to be honest. You know, I have. I, I, I would say, for me, I'm a stud person. If I can get my hands on a pair of F twenties, if I'm not wrong, or F fifties. those were the first pair of studs that i began my career with at st stephens here's a story all right white f 50s crossing the ball from the left for st stephens trials i crossed the ball twice ended up in the back of the net twice the coach yeah. turned around and said just go play striker you can't cross the ball <laughs> so i was like listen i'm getting you goals what what more do you need so uh i think that's 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 something that i would say when you ask me about yeezys or air forces i would say f yeah. f 20s or 30s because i that's that's one stuff that i don't have uh amongst the others but it 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 kind of holds a special place if i can get it why not but if any fan has it and you want to send it to robin this is your chance to do that call Please, him right i will send you something Absolutely. in return probably one of your jerseys i think 
No, no, they can have another pair of studs if they can only fit oh. into my size. I'm a big size man. If it's eleven, I can, I'll try to send you one. No issues with that. Yeah, yeah, it is a UK eleven. That that works. I'll 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 see yeah. if I have one. Definitely. Wow, right, so, guys, um, I, you've got him on record. He's organizing a pair of F thirties and fifties. I'll me. try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> He's going back right. on his words oh. now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, I think we are on the almost on the end. I think we have talked for more than one and a half hours right now. Um, so okay. we have a very we we have two fan questions. So first one right. is your thoughts on Kerala Blasters and their fans. I think they're very loud and very proud. Um, it's probably one of the largest fan bases in the ISL as we speak. Um, you know, if I get the opportunity to play there, why not? Right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to play for Kerala Blasters. Uh, but yeah, I think. Banja Para, as they as they call, they they're a great sort of fan base, and not just for us, for Indian football as well. I think they, a lot of them travel for the Indian national team games as well, alongside uh, the you guys, the West Block Blues, the Banja Para, and I think the Blue Pilgrimage, as you guys are called, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, you guys are doing a great job, and collectively for the nation, and you know, solely for your fan base and for the clubs, the recognition has to go to Banja Para for. you know being up there with probably the largest fan bases in the ISL and in the country absolutely i mean i think you know that means a lot to all the fans you're seeing and the fact that you're recognizing the effort people are putting in and that that means a lot to all the people but well, it, it nothing as i said in the beginning of this nothing goes unnoticed you know you're hearing me talk now but apart from that you i don't say much because Don't have I don't have the opportunity to, but there's not been one fan that I've ever said I don't wish to speak to you. You know, yeah. every time I've spoken to a fan, I've made sure that I said thank you, and I've made sure I said I hope we make you proud. And every time after games, I've turned around and said thank you for coming as well. It's it's because none of you go unnoticed, be it club or country. None of you. Yes, I get a bit of stick from every fan base, but I still love you guys. I don't care. It's it's fun for me. You know, talking about fans, there was this one specific fan who had texted us ten times before your before your live. His name is Vashfar uh-huh. Vashfar Ghosh. You know, he, okay. He specifically told us that he's he when he was twelve, he sent you a picture when you were in East Bengal. So he's asked specifically requested us to ask you to check your inbox for it. So if you can do okay. that for him for your fans, definitely. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. If it's in my inbox, I will turn around and put it up. I give you that. Definitely, uh, Vashwar. If you're listening to this, we did this for you. All the best. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> we had one last question from Sonik Bhattacharya. It's about East Bengal again. What do okay. you think about Trevor Morgan and the duo uh, with Tazio Ta- Uzbi? What do you think okay, about uh, that duo there? I think he was one of my first coaches, so he's he's always going to be special to me. You know, uh, he gave me the opportunity to play for East Bengal. As I said, it's. It's a club with such great heritage, and I had the honor for playing for them. And I think uh, Trevor Morgan showing his trust in me and Tolge at that point of time, we enjoyed our football. You know, we we enjoyed the coaching that he gave us. We enjoyed the football that he made us play. And obviously, yeah. as I said, you know, when when you're in sync and you have trust in your teammates, the results are bound to yeah. happen. You know, and Tolge and me. We were so confident of our teammates. We hmm. literally had different celebrations that people remember, because we knew the boys behind us will make us score goals. Will make us score goals for sure. Right. You know, and, and oh. there's a there's there's a story about Trevor Morgan. Tolge came to training the first day, and there was a yeah. there was a goalkeeper from the under under 19s, I think. I think his his I'm kind of forgetting his name right now, but yes, he he came and Tolge asked Trevor, what what's his name? And uh, I was on one end and Tolge was playing for the opponent. We were playing a seven v seven, so the young goalkeeper was on his team. Every time Tolge, he got the ball, Tolge kept screaming Ted T E D Ted because. 
Yeah. Trevor John Arnold, he asked Trevor what his name is. He said his name is Ted. So for 30 minutes in the game, Tolge is standing up front and asking for the ball and screaming his lungs <laughs> out saying, Ted, Ted, Ted. Oh my God. At the end of it, Tolge went up to him to beat him saying, can you not hear me? And uh, his name is Priyan, I think. Uh, so Priyan John Arnold said, but my name is not Ted. So I don't know if he's speaking to me or not. It's me and Trevor are standing in the corner just laughing at Tolge saying, how can somebody be called Ted, man? He's he's Bengali. Come on, he can't be called Ted. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually a pretty funny story. That's, it that's was it was story. funnier. It was funnier because all of us boys were at the side, and he's taken this goalkeeper to the side and literally wanting to fight him, saying, "Do you not like me? Do you not want to pass the ball to me?" And all of us are just standing there and laughing. <laughs> I can imagine people standing on one side and you and those two on the other just looking at them and he's just getting a stick. We're all, yeah, we're all sat down <laughs> to drink water and Tolge is on the other end fighting the goalkeeper saying, what do you want? Do you not like me? We were dying laughing. Me, Trevor, Metab, Hussain, Stovig. Oh, all of us were just on the floor saying, what is he on, man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for the run it door. I mean, we would never know some of these stories if people like you didn't, don't tell us. Yeah, Unfortunately, thank you. Thank uh, you for hearing me out. Of course. Now, we are on the end of our life. We have a surprise uh-huh. rapid fire show, a uh, rapid Whoa. fire round we have for you. It's, okay. Hopefully, it's not, it's, not, it's not a difficult one. Trust me, it's not a difficult one. Right. So, so, are you ready for this? We have, I think, 11, 10, 11 questions and we have to answer okay. in just a few seconds. All right. Okay. Let's start. FIFA or Pez? FIFA. I don't play either, but FIFA. <laughs> Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo. Oh, okay. La Liga or English Premier League? La Liga. In, uh, favorite food? Italian. Italian. Anything specific in that? Uh, I love a pizza on a day off, but pasta. <laughs> pasta. Um, a bit of controversial one. Favorite team you've played for? Favorite team I've played for? Indian national team. <laughs> good one. That That's a good one. You got me there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, describe these players in two words. One or two words. Marcelino. Okay. Rocket. Rocket. Stankovic. Machine. Captain, leader, legend, Sunil Chetri. Uh, again, you've taken all, all, all the opera adjectives. I, I specifically did that so that you can't say captain, leader, legend. Uh, captain, leader, legend, Sunil Chetri. Uh, record breaker. Record breaker. That's a good one. And Sandeesh Jingan, by the way, happy birthday to Sandeesh Jingan if he's watching this. Yeah, so Sandeesh uh, Jingan. He's too busy. He's busy training. I spoke to him. I asked him to join us. <laughs> right, so yeah. oh, one, one word from busy man? Uh, for Sandesh? Yeah. Hard worker. Hard worker, right. Uh, what would you be if not a footballer? Oh, wow. That's something I've never had an answer to. That's... Uh, no. Wow. Nothing. Nothing. I am what I am today. Because what football has given me, I am at this platform we'll today speaking to you because of football. We'll take that. Uh, yeah. All-time favorite Indian player? All-time favorite Indian player? Wow. Uh, that's 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 a massive question. Yeah. I can't even say by Jim Bhutia anymore because Sunil's broken his records. <laughs> uh all time favorite Indian player. No pressure. No pr- no pressure, okay. Pass. <laughs> Pass or oh, fine. <laughs> um you didn't specify that not to be an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you took that one in a good way. Yeah. Right, so uh Toughest opinion you, uh, opponent you faced yet? Uh, Indian or international? Anything. Indian, I would definitely say Sandesh. International, I would say Lucio. Okay. Lucio. Uh, FC Goa, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Alright. That was uh, against, by the way, not like because not a, from my training days, but Delhi Diamond yeah, was yeah. FC Goa in the semi-final. And FC Goa, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I scored, and I, and he turned around and said, "Come back again and do that." And I got kicked, and that was the beginning of a lot of feisty encounters in that game. And that that too with Lucio. That's gonna yeah. be a story. Yeah, I know. That's for another life, though. Yeah, another one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, best roommate ever. Best roommate ever. Oof. I haven't. If, a lot of people don't know this. I haven't shared my room with a lot of people. It's 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 a tie between Gurpreet at the national team and Shankar at the club level. Me and Shankar have been roommates for I think five seasons now. Five seasons. BFC. Wait, so that BFC. Means... BFC. Eighty. K, if I'm not mistaken, Pune City, Pune City, Hyderabad. And you, you guys have been together for oh my god, yeah, That's, five seasons. It's a big, wow. Oh, uh, he didn't see it. Is that Shankar? <laughs> if you're, if you're listening to this, Shankar, uh, your secrets out finally. I mean, I know. It's, it's, it's. We have to imagine you've been with a player for five years, actually. Yeah, like it, it's we, me and me and Shankar joke about it that we've shared. Like not just training facilities, but also rooms for pretty much five seasons: Hyderabad, Pune City, Pune City, Bangalore for sure, and if I'm not mistaken, ATK as well. Wow! All uh, right. Yeah. So, last two questions: the two youngsters who have caught your eye this season. Uh, uh, depends. Like honestly, to be to be fair, two youngsters that I like a lot. Uh, definitely, Sahal's up there. Uh, yeah. Komal as well. Komal as well. I I think he's he's got some tricks underneath him. But uh, there's so many from the under seventeen team, like including you know Aniket Yadav as well. Hmm. You know there are so many yeah. of them. Yeah. So that whole under seventeen group is very very talented. So there's Aniket Yadav, Komal, Sahal's up there. Uh, mm-hmm. Brandon's quite young as well, by the way. So that's that's there as well. We consider uh, them uh, them in that category. Man, I'm thirty, man. Everyone's kind of young to me now. <laughs> you you're young, man. You young. I know age is just a number. I don't care about it. I still got these legs doing the business. Yeah, till till the time your legs legs work, nothing else to us are talking. Absolutely. Nothing at all, man. That's one that's my last motto question life. for you. One last yeah. question for you. One word for the fans. Uh, one word. Thankful. One word, thankful. Thankful. All right. Definitely, so because that, it it that that they make football. Right? They make football, especially for me. Absolutely, and I think Robin, that's it. We've had a quick, good session today. Long one, but yes. a good one. We've had a lot of fun talks, good uh-huh. anecdotes, good stories, and from uh, from IFTWC, a big, big, big thank you to you for joining us. And it's a thank it's you honor so to much, be man. on a live with you, and personally as well. It's a big thank honor you. to be on a live with you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for having me. If uh, again we've missed any questions out, send them to us again, man. We'll do it again. We'll do it over Q and A. Absolutely, I, I would love to have another interview with you, honestly. Done, done, done. I think next time I'm in Delhi, uh, we'll do it on one live, not a double screen. Oh my God! That I promise you. Is- That you can record this. You can record this. I promise you. Me and you, one screen. Trust me, that that, that will be there with me. That will be there with me. Done, done, I'll, done. I'll, I'll be. I'll try to figure out your F twenties. If that's fine. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'll try to. Okay. You okay. got there on live. I'll try to make sure that happens. And we'll okay. see. Okay. Uh, I'll. I will put up a picture, and I'm going to tag you guys, so you know exactly the pair I'm talking about. Definitely. I'll. I'll. I'll try to make sure that happens. I'll try. Done, fingers done. crossed again thank you so much man all right thank you so Definitely. much thank you so much for talking to us and all the fans um thank robin for coming today man and thank you um, man thank again. you for having me as i said you guys are doing not just me indian football a lot of good and uh, just so just much. keep doing what you do man just keep doing what you do thank you so much robin that means a lot all right, all right. take care man have a good, good night be safe everybody be safe Yeah. Be safe everyone and have a good night ahead. That's it from our side I guess.
Thank you so much again. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.